Hello friends, welcome back to the Earthbound Ancient Cave Randomizer. I just have my head handed to me. Uh, my entire party is dead. I do like that they make ghost sprites for all of the custom sprites, including the question mark. I I've never had ghost punctuation in my party before. But, uh, fortunately it is just a hop, skip, and a jump back to my sanctuary. It's still close enough that I don't have to use the exit mouse. Okay, it's funny, I thought it was being really cheesy with, with all of the egg selling or the, uh, the chicken selling. I was like, this isn't necessary, I don't need to prepare this much, I'll be fine. And uh, look where I ended up. Okay, so yeah, when, when you die you do lose half, half your money. Or half of the money that's on hand so I still have a good amount in the bank which is good because I want to uh, to buy some more items to, to prepare for that fight because that was kind of kind of nasty I was not expecting excuse me I was not expecting the first boss to uh, to be that rough All right, I can at least buy another teddy bear. I don't know, maybe I should buy two teddy bears. Sorry, I have to I have to pause real quick. I will be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. There is a minor uh, family emergency, but everything's okay. Uh, it's been about an hour of real time, but I remember what I was doing. Uh, I just bought a teddy bear, and I was speculating whether it would make sense to buy a second teddy bear like I know they don't they don't stack you can't have two teddy, be teddy bears active but I was wondering if having a second one in, in my inventory would uh, like if it would immediately take effect after the first teddy bear dies or if if I would have to wait until the next battle I don't think I've ever actually tried that before um, but I have some money, so I'm going to... Or did I buy a teddy? Yeah, I did. I gave it to Monty. Because I'm, I'm going to have to come up with a strategy to defeat this mole. That mole meant business. It is much larger than Monty Mole. Uh, Monty has a lot of mole power, but... Uh, not a lot of size. So let's let's deposit the money I just took out of the ATM. Uh, let's go ahead, go ahead and deposit everything because I have a, a pretty quick path back to the ATM. Um, so yeah, you can see the one the one teddy bear trailing behind me. So having having two teddy bears and I was thinking maybe I could use shield one of my characters got a shield spell right psi shield so that would protect me from from magic attacks basically 
and that's that's the only shield spell I have, so that does not do me any good. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to go back for round two. Uh, I might end up having to do a little bit of grinding. If I do, uh, that'll happen off stream because, or or. I won't record that part because that part is really tedious. I could save my game and I would have a closer uh, respawn point to the boss, but I kind of like having having my respawn point closer to the uh, the sanctuary, and having it in a store is is convenient too. And eh, let's use fire on these jumps. I don't know why I even bother attacking with question mark. Like on a round that I'm not going to use magic with question mark, that character has nothing to do. Well, mirror, but I don't know. It might be more useful in, in the randomizer than in the base game, but I never use it in the base game. Okay. There, there were a couple ways I didn't go. I did go the I did go these ways. I th I think there were ways I didn't go. In Dalam. I think that's what this place is called. Yeah, there were some There there were some goats I didn't fight. Super thick bovid. I'll take their word for it. Is isn't bovid related to like bovine? Like like a cow? Or is that a different class of enemies? Enemies. Animals. Okay, that's the totally empty room. Sorry, it's been, it's been an hour, so it's, it's it might take me just a minute to get my bearings again. Alright, that's a living eraser statue. Oh, I hope these things don't, don't mushroomify me. Oh, flimsy stinkhorn. I thought, I thought it said filthy stinkhorn. I mean, a flimsy stinkhorn is still pretty bad. But n but not as bad as a filthy one. Okay, they don't have many hit points. All right, Teddy Bear took some damage, so so it won't be a completely a completely fresh Teddy Bear. But that's why I bought two. The magic of buying two of them. Treasure. Insignificant item. That's another one of those joke items. I don't know if it's for anything. I'm not like an earthbound expert, like about the the base game. I finished it for the first time a couple of years ago. Which, which I think I might have mentioned. Uh, these ducks aren't afraid of me. Uh, and I really like it. And I finished it for the second time shortly before discovering uh, this randomizer. But I'm not like... I'm 
I'm not like someone who played Earthbound in the 90s and have loved it for, for years and years and know everything about it. So, apologies for for not knowing things. Paralysis. Okay, I do think that the mole was was very susceptible to paralysis. So that could make the difference between an easy boss fight and a full party wipe. Oh, and Monty got thunder. That's good to have. Damn, I guess those ducks were worth a lot of experience. Oh, ambush. Dang, even the regular biting attack. Did a good bit of damage to Mario. These sound effects. I kind of like them. Alright, was this the way to the boss? Out of my way, lock. I have, yeah, I was. I have a mole to slay. Right after I slay a bunch of separate, separated gunks. Meh. Popsicle was just health, right? About 18 hit points. Okay. Just eat it, Ness. Oh, Ness was already full. Oh, everyone's full except Mario. Uh, Mario, you eat a boiled egg. There we go. Also, in addition to not being able to use equipment, question mark, also does not get the same benefit from food because uh, they're from Dalam and they, they don't like Western food. So they don't get a lot of hit points from it. Slugs? Ants? Slugs. Might as well use some of uh, question marks magic because it's not like it'll be effective against the boss. Nice. I tamed that slug. All right, everyone stole. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm hoping that having the paralysis spell makes the difference here. I think that was one of the elements he was 99% susceptible to. I think hypnosis was, was not so so effective. I'm going to spy again. I should have paid more attention, but I want to know. Um, I could try to freeze him, as in preventing him from having an action. No. Oh, thank God. Okay. Ninety nine percent to flash. 
99% to paralysis. Okay, only 10% to hypnosis, so no wonder that didn't work. Right, the 50% was brain shock, which I don't have. Uh, Alright, so, so this battle should go quite a bit differently. Uh, Fire, Mario, and... I guess I could try Thunder. I mean, I'm still going to be in for a long battle because this thing has a lot of hit points. And I do relatively little damage to it. But it should be paralyzed for, for the remainder of the battle. I don't know. It might be possible for it to, to shake it off. But if it does, then I have a 99% chance of of re-paralyzing it. So I, th I think I'm good. I'm just going to mirror, I guess. Or, tr or try to. No. 23% chance. Oh, it can heal? Wow. This boss is a load of BS. But... Paralyzing it is also a load of BS. Yeah, Monty, Monty ain't doing anything to this mole. I, I guess she's holding back because she doesn't want to be too harsh against one of her own kind. Like, fire really didn't do that much. Um, I don't know. I, I guess it's better than nothing. I think this is going to be mostly Ness and Mario whittling away at it. Alright, well that's the last fire I can cast. I mean, even after? Okay. Wow. It must have been practically dead. Okay, well. Get ready to sit here and watch me level up for like five minutes. Yeah, that was a brutal first level boss. And I am being rewarded for it. With lots of levels. That does rock. Ooh, freeze beta. Alright, time for Mario to gain some levels, which isn't as exciting because Mario doesn't learn spells. Wow, that rocks too. You still learn teleport even though you can't use it. I wish they would like mo just mod it out of the out of the game since it's there for no reason. All right, that is the first floor of the dungeon down. Say goodbye to Megalovania because uh, we are in for some new music. I feel like I've heard this at some point, but I can't recognize it. One feature that I would like for them to add is when you uh, get the information from the from the ATM card. I wish it would tell you what floor you're on and what music is currently playing. Because the only way to identify what floor you're on is by the current music. And if you don't know the title of the music, it can be hard to, to keep that straight in your head. I'm digging it though. Whatever it is, it's good. Is this mouse afraid of me? 
Yeah. Is this a real trash can? It is. Fry pan. That's the same thing that Monty already has. Okay, that opens up into the volcano. Let's see where this other path leads. Also the volcano. Oh, this is a sanctuary. Nice. Creepy. Well, I will go ahead and use the exit mouse to set this as my teleport location. So as you progress through the sanctuaries, you pick up different, you know, more parts of the song, which you can listen to with the soundstone. But going all out, all out of order makes it a little weird. Also, I don't think all eight sanctuary locations are in the game. Uh, I, th I think one of them was removed because of like a, a memory limitation. In regular Earthbound, after you get all the sanctuary locations, you, you get like a huge stat boost for Ness, uh, which doesn't happen in this game because it's not possible to get all the sanctuary locations. Ah, back into the final dungeon. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, it's a hotel. Oh, it's a very expensive hotel. Nah, I'm good. And might as well save. Oh, that's a payphone. Okay, well. Let's uh, take out a little walking around money. 20 bucks. Who are you? Oh. And let's go ahead and call my mom. If you don't call your mom often enough, then uh, you get Ness gets homesickness, which is a status ailment that prevents him from attacking sometimes. Aww. Yeah, so your sister works for S Cargo Express, which is like a, a delivery company. You can use that to store items, but it's very cumbersome, and I I rarely use it even in Vanilla Earthbound. Like I'd rather just throw stuff away because uh, you don't need a lot of items in this game. You need a, a small fraction of a percent of the items that the game gives you. Oh, there's that horse sprite again. Or whatever it is. I, I don't know if it has wings or a backpack. What you got for me, Breadman? Coin of Silence. A coin is an item you wear on your body that, that gives you a little bit of defense. Uh, or a lot of defense, if it's if it's a high level coin, which the coin of silence is, but well, it, it, it's mid. But I don't have enough to buy one, so I won't. 
Okay, so that that's another highway segment. Before I go that way, let's just backtrack a little bit and, and see see if there's anything I missed. No, this was pretty much a straight shot so far. Maybe YouTube will give me a content ID match on this song and I can figure out what it is that way. It could be from another game or, or it could be uh, an original composition. Right, this lady's going to attack me because I, I don't have the fly honey. Oh wait, no, she's, yeah, she's mad about the zombies. Okay. Irritable Hurley. I see. Oh, Hurley, like, like Hurl, but dimin diminutive. I get it. Uh, what do I want question mark to do? You have a pretty good supply of, of side points. Cast a freeze. Oh my god. Well, it's frozen for this turn. Can I keep it frozen? That would be nice. Okay. Yeah, I, di I didn't think that would be a tough enemy. Yeah, pretty decent experience. Alright, I, I got shield alpha, which will help me against uh, so some of the harder hitting enemies and bosses. What? I, I just called you, Dad. He's probably mad because I didn't actually stop playing the game. Are these? Yeah, they're enemies. They're just afraid of me. As well they should be. Oh, a hint. And some plants. So, in regular Earthbound, uh, buying a hint tells you, you know, gives you a hint as to what you, what you need to do, do next. In the randomizer, it tells you what the floors are, what the bosses of the floors are, and, and what floor you're currently on. So that is one other way to find out what floor you're on. It's just these guys don't pop up that frequently. So yeah, second floor of the ancient cave, spot one was Mondo Mole, Sentry Robot. That's a tough enemy. But I, by the time I get there, I might be prepared enough for it. Robo pump, also a tough enemy. Also, it, it's just it's it's pulling out all, all the stops for this seed. I don't remember what that is. Uh, I don't think that one's too hard. I don't think that one's too hard. That one's pretty hard. Eh, I, I don't need to fight those plants. So this is this is the guy who's mad about the fly honey. If if I if I had fly honey, then I wouldn't have to fight him. But I don't, so I do. I don't I don't know the password. Um, may, maybe this guy fights you regardless. All right. Well, let's let's try the, the the previous strategy. I'm glad I got those teddy bears. That was a decent amount of damage. Maybe I should do that twice. Cuz Monty has a pretty decent supply of magic points too. <gasps> Another one. Okay, good deal. Side magnet. 
of limited use. Possibly better in the randomizer. I haven't really experimented with it that much. Uh, in regular Earthbound, like if you have literally, if you're out of magic and you have literally nothing else to do, you can use it to get a few uh, magic points. But in general, it's not worth it. Also, uh, Ness and Question Mark both have shield. Oh, and Question Mark has shield beta already. That was fast. They're a fast learner. Alright, let me get that treasure, and then I will pro probably cut it there. Sprout Captain. Aw, look at it. It's just a little fella. Oh, don't mind if I do. Holmes hat. Not the most exciting present. How's everyone doing on defense? Uh, Mario could use some. Question mark. Is just out of luck. Alright, Mario. It's time to play detective. Which is normally Luigi's job. Five more defense. Okay. I'll take it. And uh, that will about do it for today's installment of Earthbound Ancient Cave Randomizer. I, ho I hope you're still enjoying this. I am. I'm. I'm glad that the game is. Uh, is not pulling its punches. I, th I think that makes it more interesting both to play and to watch. Uh, but that'll do it for this week. Uh, next video should be up on Monday. So I hope you all have a good weekend and I will see you soon. Goodbye.